Projects are the basis of all designs in SolidWorks Electrical. Let's start the SolidWorks Electrical application. And the first thing you will notice is that the Projects Manager becomes available when you start the software. If you happen to close it or it doesn't appear automatically, you can always get to it from the File Command Manager menu and choosing Projects Manager. A window will appear in front of you where you will see a list of all of your recent projects as well as every project in the system. These projects reside on the collaborative server, typically on the same server that the SQL database lives on. To create a new project, select the New button. You will be presented with a New Project Template option. You can choose an empty project where you would build everything from scratch, or choose from one of the international standards that are provided here. For example, if I choose the ANSI Project Template, the American standard, I will then have the opportunity to use ANSI standard symbols by default. Once you choose a template, it asks you for the primary language for the project. SOLIDWORKS Electrical allows you to have multiple language fields for every object in the database. In this case, we're going to make sure we're using English, and I'll choose OK. The next question the system asks for is the details of the project, the metadata or information about the project. The first and most important thing is to choose the name for the project, especially as it relates to how you're going to manage this in a document management system like SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. You want to make sure this name is the name of the project in that database as well. In this case, I'm going to call it Sample. Here I can choose a contract number, maybe the customer that I'm working on this for, and any other information that I find relevant to the project. This information will then be populated in your title blocks and also available in the Filters menu here in the Projects Manager to search for projects. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this, and it will go ahead and create the project for me. It's creating database files on the server for this purpose. Once the database files are created, it will then provide us with the SOLIDWORKS Electrical interface. I have the SOLIDWORKS Electrical orb up in the upper left-hand corner, where I can go ahead and create new projects, set options, look at recent files, so on and so forth. Tabs are available for multiple options throughout the software. You also have a document browser tree. Document browser tree allows you to see the files that the template provided us with by default. In this case, we see the name of the project, a binder, and several default pages. One for the cover page, a table for the drawings list, a single line diagram, and power and control schematics, multi-line schematics. These templates can be set to have any default pages that you wish to have. We also see a component browser tree here as well. The name of the project is here, and a default location called Main Electrical Closet provided for us. Once again, these can be set as defaults as well. Let's go ahead and choose the Power Schematic. You will notice that the title block is already here with the name of the location, the name of the sheet, and the name of the contract that I had provided back when I started the project. So all that information is being pushed to the title block from that metadata page when I started the project. Default options on how you draw are also related to the project template. For example, under the Project tab, there's a Configurations menu. If I choose the Project option, you will see all of the settings for how this project works and the default settings here. For example, I might want to choose my default cable size and set that to the American Wire Gauge standard as my default if I'm using an ANSI template. On the Graphics tab, I might want to never see wire connection dots. All of these settings are saved with the project template itself.